Hello there, Michelle Short here for My Favourite Things. Today I have a last minute holiday gift idea to share with you, creating gift card holder tags. So let's get started. This is the Do It All Gift Tag Dynamic Set. Such a great set that you can use to create gift card holders in the shape of a tag. And then I'm also using two other sets that work well with that. That's the Itty Bitty Gifting Stamp Set, which has got lots of different sentiments that can be used all year round. And then also the All Occasions Icons Dynamics. I have cut the tag from different papers. So the first one, I'm using the Holly Jolly 6x6 paper pad. And I've just picked out two patterns from that pack. And then I'm also using some blue cardstock from my stash, but the MFT Blue Beyond would work perfectly for this. And then for the other tag, I'm using the Very Merry 6x6 paper pad. At this point, I wasn't 100% sure which patterns I was going to use, but in the end, I used the stripes and the trees. And then I'm also using ripe raspberry cardstock because I thought it would work quite well together. So I've cut all of my pieces out. I've also cut some panels from white cardstock as well. So I'm just going to adhere these tags together. So I'm taking the base layer of the tag, which you can use as is just for a base layer of a tag, which is really great. But I've cut it from that ripe raspberry cardstock and also one of the patterned papers. And then I'm just going to lay them back to back so that it's going to look nice from the back of the tag and also from the front of the tag. So I've added some tape runner onto that and then some on point precision glue. And that liquid glue is going to help just to give me a bit of wiggle room so that I can make sure that I lay them up straight. On the back, there is this piece that you can add onto it to create a message. And I've cut that from some white cardstock and I really love the stitching detail on that piece. On the stamp set, the Itty Bitty Gifting stamp set, there is some like to and from sentiments which would work really well for this. But I decided to leave them off my tag in particular and I thought that I would just write a personal message. I did cut the topper piece. I wasn't sure if I was going to use it. In the end, I didn't. So next, I've cut the piece that the gift card actually kind of sticks into. And I've cut that from that ripe raspberry cardstock. And it creates scoring lines, which is really helpful. So I'm just reinforcing those with my bone folder. And then I'm adding on some 1 8 of an inch score tape just to the three sides there. So I just tend to lay that on and then cut that down in length. Although I'm using these as gift card holders, I definitely think that you could use them for lots of different things. You could probably pop in some cash or you could pop in a little message or something like that. Um, any kind of thing that you may be printed off of the computer or something like that, I think would work really nicely as well. But I love being able to create gift card holders because I do send quite a lot of gift cards out. So I'm just lining that up and then I'm going to use my bone folder again just to really push down those edges. Next, I've got the piece that I'm going to stick on the front. I think it actually looks nice just with the colour of cardstock, but I decided to pop this piece on top. I'm not usually one for kind of mixing and, ma mixing and matching patterns up, but I do like how it turned out. It's quite kind of bright and cheerful. And then I'm going to take that whole reinforcer and I'm just going to add a little bit of the on-point precision glue onto the back of that. And I do just dab that off onto a scrap piece of paper as well before I stick that down. And then just making sure that there's no excess glue in the centre of that hole. So then I can work on the blue tag and I'm just doing pretty much the exact same thing. So I do speed that up quite a bit. These tags actually took very little time to assemble. Once you've cut everything out, they do come together quite quickly. But I didn't want to, this video to be really long, so I did speed this up. So I've got that piece for the back again. And then for this tag, I decided to cut the topper. So I can just add that at the top. And then I cut the whole reinforcer from some white cardstock. Just for a bit of contrast. And then I can push down those edges of the front piece again. 
and just reinforce those with my bone folder and add the tape on top. I do have lots of other kind of gift card holder type dies. I tend to use them once and never use them again, but I think that I'm going to use this set a lot. Like I said, these came together so quickly. And although I'm creating holiday kind of Christmas ones today, I think they'll be perfect for loads of different occasions. But I thought it'd be quite good to have that ho 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 paper at the front of this one. So I want to add some embellishment onto the tag. So I'm using the All Occasions Icons Dynamics and I've cut the circle piece from blue for this tag and then the Santa hat from Red Hot Cardstock. And I'm just going to pop that up with a thin foam square. And then what I really like about the die set is that it cuts the kind of fur of the hat separately, which is really helpful. So I've cut that from white and then I can just line that up and place that on top. I can then add some more thin foam squares onto the back of this piece and pop that on top. Although I wanted some dimension, I didn't want too much dimension, if that makes sense. So I thought the thinner foam tape would be helpful here. And I'm just placing that into the kind of side there of the tag. And then I've got a white enamel dot that I'm using for the pom pom on the hat. And then for the pink tag, I'm pretty much doing the same kind of thing, but I thought it'd be quite nice to add the scalloped piece underneath. So I've cut that circle from white and then I've cut the fur of the hat from some white glitter cardstock. Just so that there's a contrast between that and the white base. The scalloped circle does have a hole in it, so I think that you could add some twine and make that kind of like a little tag on its own, but I thought it would still be quite nice to add that onto the gift card tag. So just adding some more thin foam squares onto the back of that, and then I can place that down onto the tag. And then for the sentiment, I'm going to use the Itty Bitty Gifting Stamp Set and I'm going to stamp the Merry Christmas sentiment onto some more white cardstock. So just lining that up in the Mini Misty here and then I can stamp that with Extreme Black Ink. And I'm just going to stamp the same sentiment. I did think about stamping the one that said a gift for you, I thought that would be quite nice, but I went with the Merry Christmas in the end. And these, this set has lots of different kind of tags for sentiments, which is really helpful. So I've just cut both of those sentiments out and I've run a piece of paper, kind of like scrap paper underneath so that the back of the tags doesn't have like the marks of the um, cutting plates on like underneath so it looks quite nice from the front and the back and then I'm going to line the whole of that sentiment piece up with the hole at the top of the tag and then I can thread some twine through so I folded the twine in half push that through the hole of the tag and then I can secure that at the front and then I can just tie that in a bow and the sentiment kind of does swing around a little bit, but I think that's kind of part of the fun of the tag. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing here for the blue tag as well. You could decorate these tags as much or as little as you want, which is really nice. So I'm just going to show you here how easily it is to add the gift card inside. It does actually go a little bit further than this um, down into the tag, but I didn't realise as I was filming. But once I took the photos of the tags afterwards, I did realise that it did go a bit further down. But I really like that they look nice from the front and the back. And that's my last minute holiday gift idea to share with you using the Do It All Gift Tags Dynamics. Links to the products that I used will be in the description bar on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and wishing you a lovely holiday season.